Good dog and welcome to Pennsylvania Dutch 101. We're here with video number four of our series, which deals with the alphabet and pronunciation. And to be perfectly honest, this is going to be a pretty important uh, video in the series because one of the most difficult things about mastering any language, more particularly Pennsylvania Dutch, is making sure that your pronunciation skills are correct. So this video will be specifically looking at what the letters of the alphabet are, but most importantly, how they sound and combinations of letters. Uh, if you can master that, you're really going to make the difference between sounding Dutch and sounding like someone who's learning Dutch. So if you really want to strive to sound and get that sound down, this is going to be a really important video to watch. So let's get right into it. The letters, and some old Dutchmen will say, oh, it's this A, B, Z, uh, the alphabet. So we're going to go through each letter of the alphabet. and. Uh, I've given you possible spellings for the sounds, but if you listen closely, it'll start to make sense, and I'll say each letter multiple times, you'll hear how it sounds, and then we'll move on. So, for this first row of le letters in the alphabet. <coughs> ah. 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 Bay. 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 Say. Say, say, day, 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 a, a, a. So that first row, a, b, c, d, a. Second row, f, f. F, gay, 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 ha, 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 e, 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 yacht, yacht, yacht. So that second row, <coughs> F. Gay, ha, e, yot. Next row. Ka, ka, ka. L, l, l. M, m, m. N, n. N O O O So that row K L M N O Next row Pay 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 Ku 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 Air Air, air, s, 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 te, te, te. That row, pe, ku, air, s, te. <coughs> and the next row, u, u. Ooh. Foul, foul, foul. They, they, they. X, X, X. So that row. Ooh, foul, they, X. And the last two letters. Ypsilon. Ypsilon, Ypsilon, and Tset, Tset, Tset. So Ypsilon and Tset. And to be perfectly honest, Y isn't used very often in Pennsylvania Dutch, um, neither is X. Uh, so some of these uh, you're going to use quite a lot, others not as much. And also, the one other thing I did want to mention, if you've studied German before, you know that in German there's also four extra letters, the a, O, and U, which have the two dots above them, the umlauts, and 
the S set, which is the capital B looking letter, those letters do not exist in Pennsylvania Dutch. So you don't have to worry about learning those. So it's the same 26 letters in, R in Pennsylvania Dutch as is in the English alphabet. Again, from the top, A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, Z. Practice those, okay? So, let's practice using them right now. Wie uh, schreibt Marcel? How do you spell these words? I chose a couple words from Pennsylvania Dutch and I thought we'd just spell them together. The first one is the word for thistle finch, which is a common bird seen in Pennsylvania Dutch art. And the word in Dutch for that is distelfink. Distelfink. How would we spell that? D E S T A L F E N K. One nice thing about Pennsylvania Dutch is that we don't really have a lot of silent letters when we speak or write, so if what you hear is what you say, or what you read is what you say. So that's good. No silent letters like English. Something that I just, uh, I love to eat, famous Pennsylvania Dutch type of food, pot pie. The word in Dutch for that is bot boy. That's an easy one to spell, I think. Let's spell it. Bay, o, t, t, bay, o, e. But boy, uh, <laughs> a word usually used to describe people whose hair is messed up or in English disheveled. The word in Dutch is strobelig, strobelig. It's a little bit longer word, but don't be scared. Let's spell it. S, C, H, T, R, U, V, V, A. L, E, C, H, Strobele. And uh, every February we celebrate Fasnach in Pennsylvania Dutch culture. Uh, Carnival, Mardi Gras, it's also the name of the donut that we make, the potato-based donut that we make and eat during this time period, right before Lent. The word Fasnach, let's say that, spell that. F, A, A, S, N, A, C, H, T, Fasnacht. And one that's used a lot by Pennsylvania Dutch speakers, uh, and it's also used in English in some parts of southeastern Pennsylvania, the word for a person who's very curious or always looking into other people's businesses, a wunderfitz, we say in Pennsylvania Dutch, wunderfitz, let's spell that, V, U, N, N, A, R, F, E, K, T. One of its. Okay. Now, here's where I think Pennsylvania Dutch is, is difficult, and especially for people that learn German. If you've learned German before, and I think you look at Pennsylvania Dutch from the German perspective, which makes sense, but you've got to be careful because the pronunciation between High German, Hochdeutsch, and Pennsylvania Dutch differs quite, quite drastically in some aspects. So we want to spend a lot of time uh, talking about certain pronunciations that are key to making your Pennsylvania Dutch sound the way that it should. Um, and sometimes these are going to be double vowels sounds because that's quite common in how they're different. Other times some consonant sounds as well. So let's take a look at these. One that you'll see quite a lot in Pennsylvania Dutch is a double A in words. And the sound that it makes is an A-W sound or aw. Aw, and I chose the Pennsylvania Dutch word aug, which is the word for I, A A G, A A G, aw, aug. Another vowel combination that we see quite often also is A E or A A, and in English it makes the sound that you would have in a E A combination. I chose the Pennsylvania Dutch word bear, which is the word for bear, uh, and again it makes a. Eh, bear, eh, 
bear. A U or a U. This is also used a lot in Pennsylvania Dutch. It makes the sound of like a a or o o w. So I chose the word lot l a u t l a u t, which means loud in Pennsylvania Dutch. Lot, lot. Now C H is a unique sound to Pennsylvania Dutch. It's also found in High German. CH in Pennsylvania Dutch does not make a CH sound like it does in English. I put an asterisk because I really don't know how to spell this. I always tell my students that you kind of want to make the sound of almost like a cat hissing, but put a little bit more oomph behind it. So I chose these two words, ich and mache. So it's the best way I can say is he, he, he. You want to take the back part of your tongue and push up towards the roof of your mouth and force air through at the same time. So he, he, ich, mache, ich, mache, he. E combination in in Dutch makes an a sound. So I chose this word, weich, weich. E I makes a i sound. So I chose the word. Leicht, leicht, I. These two are often mixed up, and we got to make sure that from the start that they're not, because if you say these mixed up, you can change the meanings of words, and we don't want to do that. So e i makes an i sound, but i e makes an e sound, e. So I chose the word beeble, beeble, leicht, beeble. I, E. Don't mix those up. G is, is another problematic letter in Pennsylvania Dutch because it has three different pronunciations and it all depends where it is in the word. A G can make the sound of a normal G, like in English, G. It can also make a K sound, K. And it can also make a Y sound or a Y sound. The rule is, if the G is at the beginning of a word, it makes a G sound. So, geld, geld, geld. If it's at the end of a word, that's where it has more of a K sound to it. This word, awk, awk, awk. We had it earlier as well. And when it's between two vowels, a G makes a Y sound, and this is where it, this is the one that's the trickiest to remember, because it doesn't. Our brains don't want to say that. It makes a Y sound. So this word oh yeah, oh yeah. and some Pennsylvania Dutch speakers don't even make as much of an emphasis. Sometimes they'll just say ah, oh, ah. Oh. But you got to make sure that it's. You're definitely not making a G sound, and you're definitely not making a K sound. It's a Y or a U. Uh. Oh, that's a tough one. That one takes some practice and to remember when to use it. So, g, k, k, and y, geld, og, oi. Couple more. The letter p in Pennsylvania Dutch can make a p, p, explosive p sound like in English, or it can have a b sound depending where it is. If it starts a word like para, then you're gonna say the p. Para, p -p para. But if it's towards the end of a word or before a vowel or before a final vowel, then it takes more of a B sound. Lumba, lumba. Instead of, you don't say lumpa, lumba, b, b. So it has more of that B sound. Double P's always make a double B sound. And you'll see these a lot in Pennsylvania Dutch words. So your mind as an English speaker wants to say, Robber, but we don't in Dutch. We have more of a b b sound. Robber, robber. Okay, b b. You will never see an s and an h next to each other in Pennsylvania Dutch without a c in the middle. So that's you got to remember that an s c h always makes a sh sound. S h sound is in English. So I have the word shul, shul, sh, shul. These always have an F sound in, in Dutch. So you'll a lot of times see words that start with a V. It's not verricht, like we'd say in English. It's verricht, verricht, f, f, verricht. 
W is a tricky one. As a, if you've learned German, this is going to throw you off. We know that in German, in High German, Ws make a V sound, but in Pennsylvania Dutch, they actually make a W sound like they do in English. So the word here that I have printed here would be pronounced Wasa, W, W, Wasa, not Wasa like in High German, Wasa, W, W. Okay. Before we get to a little practice, I gotta tell you, that is some of the trickiest stuff that we're gonna cover and the hardest thing to master. You really wanna sound Pennsylvania Dutch, I would really recommend you finding somebody that can help practice with you, because uh, we wanna help. You just gotta find us, okay? And again, use those internet websites that I talked about in video number one. Uh, there's a wealth of people out there that are willing to help, you just gotta find them, okay? So, practice that pronunciation, okay? Practice, practice, practice. Okay, let's do a little bit. Even. We sagt Marcella Wada. How do I say, or how does one say these words? I picked a couple Pennsylvania Dutch words out to practice our pronunciation, not spelling so much. Okay. So I chose the word for woman, wife, or missus. This word means all three. So we have an F, an R, and a double A sound. Thinking about what we covered already in this video, how would you say that? I'll give you a couple seconds to try it on your own. The correct pronunciation would be fra, fra, fra. Next word, we've seen it before in video two, I believe, uh, when talking about how you feel. Here's another one that's got quite a lot of stuff going on. We have that SCH combination we talked about and the CH by itself. Remember, that has that weird sound to it. So I'll give you a, minute, a, a second to practice it. Try it on your own. The correct pronunciation of this word, schlecht. Schlecht, schlecht. Okay, something that uh, maybe you see every day, the newspaper. We have EI combination, remember how that sounds? And a G on the end, remember what that does? Give you a second to try it. Correct pronunciation of this word, newspaper in German, in Pennsylvania Dutch, Zeiding, Zeiding, Zeiding. Early, the word for Pennsylvania Dutch, this has an IE combination. Remember to change it, go, don't mix it up with this combination. IE, give you a second. This word is pronounced free, free, free. And here's a double A, com double E combination, thinking of it, the Pennsylvania Dutch uh, alphabet. Double E combination, think about what that sounds. The G at the beginning, think about what that sounds. The word for goat in Pennsylvania Dutch, I'll give you a second to try it. The correct pronunciation is gaze, gaze, gaze. Okay? So, alphabet and pronunciation. Gotta practice that stuff, especially the pronunciation. If you bought yourself a dictionary already, just look through it, pick out Pennsylvania Dutch words, and practice saying them. That's a good way. Uh, you might be saying them wrong, but if you talk about, if you think about the stuff that we talked about in the video and practice those pronunciations, you should be okay. All right, and uh, just keep practicing. That's all I can tell you. Uh, thanks for stopping in again. Bis nächste Video. Max gut und schwätzt Deutsch und Max gut.